Hi everybody, today we're going to be discussing how to determine Pythagorean triples of a triangle. We can do that, we must know what the Pythagorean theorem is. The Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. All this is stating is that the sum of the legs a and b after being squared will equal to your hypotenuse or c value squared. In order to have a triple, the solutions or side lengths must all be integers. Some famous triples are the 3, 4, 5, the 5, 12, 13, and the 9, 40, 41. So let's take a look at example one. Use the Pythagorean theorem to determine whether the side lengths given form a triple. The first thing you need to realize is that across from your 90 degree angle is your hypotenuse. In this case, our hypotenuse is unknown but both legs are known. It does not matter if you label 16 as A or 16 as B due to the fact that you are adding the legs together and the commutative property holds. So let's take our theorem and substitute in our values. So we get 16 squared plus 30 squared is equal to X squared. And after we simplify, we get 1,156 is equal to X squared. In order to get rid of the x squared, we must square root both sides, so we are left with 34. The 16, 30, 34 triangle is in fact a triple because they are all integers. Example 2. Compute the third side of the triangle to determine whether the side lengths form a triple. Again, across from your 90 degree angle will be your hypotenuse, and your legs will be labeled as A and B. So here we take our Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and we substitute in our values to get 170 is equal to x squared. After square rooting both sides, we are left with 13.038, which continues on. Due to the fact that the square root of 170 is not a perfect square, this is not an integer value, therefore 7, 11, and the square root of 170 is not a Pythagorean triple. Let's look at example 3. Determine whether the side lengths of the triangle below form a Pythagorean triple. What's different about this example is we know our hypotenuse, and we actually need to determine the length of one of the legs. So after we take our Pythagorean theorem, we'll substitute x for a and 48 for b. So we are left with x squared plus 48 squared is equal to 50 squared. After using inverse operations and simplifying, we are left with x squared is equal to 196. Take the square root of both sides and you get x is equal to 14. So the side lengths of this triangle are 14, 48, and 50, which is a Pythagorean triple because they are all integers clarifies Pythagorean triples. Thank you for watching.